Hey guys, it's me again, and I hope you had a great Thanksgiving holiday. Um, I can't believe we're already into December, and it's the first weekend of December, so I'm sure all of you know this was Candle Day weekend. I really can't call it Candle Day anymore um, because it runs all weekend long. So this started to, I'm sorry, it didn't start today, it started yesterday, uh, December 1st on Friday. It was for members only. But who's not a member anymore? It used to be very exclusive, but now everyone, um, they pretty much have expanded their membership to um, all areas of US that I that I know of. So um, you could shop early yesterday and then today was open to everyone, even if you were a member or not. So there's one more day, it'll be tomorrow and then that'll be over for the year. It won't be another candle day weekend until 2024. So I just wanna get into this haul of what I've gotten this time around. Um, at first I didn't think I was even gonna get this many candles because nothing really appealed to me. I had already had some Christmas candles that um, I had kind of just saving till after Thanksgiving was over. So um, only had a few on hand that I thought that I would purchase during the weekend. So I had a list. I didn't really stick to my list because <laughs> by the time I made it to the store today, a lot of the things that were on my list were already gone. But it's fine. I found some other um, good finds that I think will really be um, very good scent candles as far as like their throw. Um, if I don't take the lid off and it smells very like pungent to me, I try not to keep it because I need for that candle to pretty much fill um, the whole first floor of the house, which our house isn't that big. But um, some of the candles you get, they're so light and there's no throw. I'm like, what's, what's the point of even spending money on this thing? So I'm not gonna keep you too long. I'm just gonna get into this and what I got this weekend. So the first item um, you'll see again in the next video, um, cause I filmed that video first, but I'm going to upload the candle day haul um, before I upload that one. So I'm just taking the um, item out of the package. And Michaela, I'm so sorry. I know I said to you that we would do this video together, but mommy really has to get it done. Um, but we will do more videos together, Pumpkin. Um, maybe we'll do another Bath and Body Works haul for like body care together. So, um, since we already kind of did like the train together. So, love you, Pumpkin. <laughs> but mommy's gonna do this one by herself. <laughs> All right, so the first thing um, is this beautiful candle holder. It is the Glittery Snowflake Candle Holder. And I know I'm gonna show you this again up close on the next video, um, but that's just how that looks. And I apologize for the lighting. I'm in the dining room because everyone else is upstairs asleep. It's like one o'clock in the morning. So um, I'm staying up late so that I can get good sleep for Monday morning because um, I have a lot of patience on Monday and I'm working by myself, so. I will be up as late as poss possible so I can sleep all night Sunday into Monday. But anyway, here is this candle holder and it is so pretty. Um, the candle actually goes, it sits right on top just like that. So I'll pull that out so you can see it. It's very, 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 very pretty. And like I said, I already have um, another one of these. Um, these will both go in um, my bedroom on our dressers, um, which kind of serves as our entertainment area. But I thought this was so cute. So this retail for um, $29.95, and I know I discussed that in the next video too, the price. I don't know if you can see that, probably got it upside down. So $29.95, and excuse me, um, I did not pay $30 for this. I had I had the 10 off 30 coupon for this. So I picked up this item for 20 bucks. So not too bad. And I'll just say one thing about the candles. Usually I will get a 20% off coupon around candle day and I didn't get one this year. And if I remember cor correctly, I don't think I received one last year either. The only coupons that I got this year um, was a 10 off 40 which isn't doing much for anything when you buy uh, your candles in bulk. But I mean, it got me a free candle because I knew I was gonna buy more than four candles. Um, let's, be, let's be serious about this, so. All right, so Friday, I did not, or yesterday, which was Friday, I did not make it out to the stores. Um, I worked yesterday. So I got up early, did an order online. And 
just so happens that when I went into store, I thought to the store today, I thought those candles were like exclusive online candles and a lot of them weren't, they had them in store. So I didn't have to order online. There was only one candle that I couldn't find in store and that was the lavender marshmallow. I'm hoping that that smells good because to be honest with you, I ordered six candles online and five of them I smelled in the store and I really don't care for. So more than likely those five candles are going back to Bath and Body Works as soon as that shipment comes in. Um, and then we'll see what the <clears throat> lavender marshmallow cells, um, smells like. So when that package comes in, I'll share that haul with you. Um, hopefully I'll have time to share it. It's, it's going to be short because it's only six candles in the haul. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so we'll just do that once once that order comes in. It has already shipped, so they, they're on it at the factory because I, I put that order in yesterday morning, probably around 6 a.m., and it's already shipped out today. So I'm hoping sometime this week I'll get around to doing that haul real quick. So, But let's get into the candles that I did receive from the store, or I bought from the store. I went to two um, Bath & Body Works in my area. Um, they're real close together. One is in the mall, and then one is in a strip mall near the mall. So um, they're pretty concentrated in my area. So I was able to hit up both stores and see what had what the other one didn't. So I'm sure you saw the candle day bags. These are the ones they were handing out this year. They're really cute, um, they're adorable, um, re reusable bags. Um, but the weird thing I thought about that bag, I only received it from the store in the mall. The strip mall store, which is to me, I feel like the bigger store had the um, paper bags. And then actually, I ended up ripping it open um, just to get my crate out. Because I was like, we're going to rip this bag. Because if, if my crate drop, we're going to have a problem. So, um, yeah, I don't know if all the stores didn't get the reusable bags. But definitely got a paper bag from the store that I usually shop at. So, let's get into some of the candles that I got from um, the mall. And I think they're all kind of mixed up now. So, I'll be able to tell you, um, like, the scent notes. Um, and there's only one candle that I got a duplicate of because it just, it smells so good. So we'll just get into um, what I received. I did pick up the Cedar and Suede. There's that right there. Really pretty sage colored um, glass, frosted glass. Um, the wax is white. And this one smells like a tree it smells really good it smells like just like a christmas tree but the notes on this is soft cedar warm incense and velvety suede the cedar is very strong on this and it smells really good but i think it's one of the i think this is a scent that you could probably burn after christmas and get away with it um where it's not like a distinct christmas smell it just smells it almost smells just like woods you know yeah that's a that's a really um good scent and i did purchase the um what is it? The room spray, room concentrated spray in this in this scent. So um, it'll be nice to have together. All right, next candle is winter. And that's how that one looks. Really cute, has like a little village on the front. Everything is blue, yellow, and gold themed. So this wax is blue. I saw a lot of people on the review, like the reviews for this cam candle complaining about the color of the wax that it didn't match, the match their theme. But a lot of these candles have colored wax. They're not gonna, they're not all gonna match your theme. So to me, like the color of wax doesn't matter. It's more the smell and how strong it is because I need for it to kind of, you know, get throughout the first floor of the house. The second floor, I'm not really too worried about because I have a different candle burning up there. But definitely for the first floor, I would like for it to be pungent. I don't wanna burn more than one candle at a time. So, um, but this one is, White woods, pine needles, sparkling clementine, and spice clove. This smells really good. I almost like I think I should have probably got another one of these. Because this is another one that you could burn after Christmas where it's not, it's just it's more of a fresher scent because it's very it has very strong notes of orange in it. And you could absolutely get away with um, having this after Christmas. So um, if I don't end up, pick up a, picking up another one tomorrow, it's not a big deal. One's enough because believe me, we have enough candles <laughs> to get through to probably spring SAS. So this winter SAS, <clears throat> excuse me, 
that usually starts the day after Christmas, I will not be shopping because this is more than enough candles to last till spring. Or I guess that's the June one, the June one, which is, I think it's technically um, still spring once it starts. So um, the next candle I got was white tea and sage. That's the packaging on that. And you can see where it has like that rainbow iridescent um, sheen to the packaging. Very pretty. Um, almost looks like it's greenish, greenish blue color. And the notes on this is sparkling bergamot, white tea, and fresh sage. This one's really a really clean scent. Um, this is like one that I would probably put in the bathroom or my bedroom um, because it's not very strong, so it could go in a smaller room. But yeah, my um, boss actually picked this one up uh, the other day, and I was like, I never smelled that one. And then when I went in today, I was like, oh, that smells really good. I'll pick, pick up one of those, so. Yep, next one will be Eucalyptus Mint. I have gotten this uh, several times before, whether it's on a candle sale, um, candle day, um, or if I just have a good coupon and they're on, um, they have a regular during the year sale. So this, the notes on this is fresh eucalyptus, sweet spearmint, lemon zest, and clary sage. You guys know I've had these several times before. Very, very good smell. Um, I also have this in the room concentrate spray. So like I said, I like to double up on things. Like if I have a candle burning in the bedroom, then I can just spritz the bathroom or um, the hallway with the room concentrate spray. They're, they're so very strong that you don't need much and it lasts a long time. A lot of times my sprays will last for two to three years because I only use them during the season and then I put them away. So yeah, this is another good one to have is the eucalyptus mint, very clean smell. Like I said, I didn't get many Christmas smells because before you, I'm not gonna use up all these Christmas candles and when Christmas is over, I'm gonna be, I'll be over Christmas candles. <laughs> so it's like I need to get stuff that are like fresh smelling and kind of um, can carry over into spring. And speaking of spring, I did pick up the spring candle. That's what that looks like. And really pretty. Looks like it has a meadow on the um, packaging. And it just says spring, that light, pretty light green. Wax on that, there's the wax. And when I had Gabby smell this one, she said, oh, mom, it smells like grass. And I was like, well, you picked the notes because the note has um, spring air, fresh grass, and apple blossom. So this one smells really good. I know it's like sometimes like it smells like you like to smell like grass, but yeah, I do like to smell like grass. It smells good. And I think um, pair it with the, you can, the apple blossom, you can really smell in this too. So um, really good smelling candle. They did have, they had spring, of course they, they had summer, they had autumn and they had winter. Now winter in this packaging, not this winter, because that this winter, this winter in this packaging and this winter, they smell completely different. So I did order this winter um, and when I smelled it in the store, I really wasn't impressed. Um, so I'll just decide once it comes in whether or not I'm going to keep it. Because like I said, I think five of those six candles may be going back to the store and that's perfectly fine because we have enough. <laughs> so the next one is, and this is one of the doubles. So this is the one I was telling you that smells really, really good. I was shocked when I, even when I seen the... Um, the advertisement for it online. Um, I said, uh, I'm not gonna order that. Um, and I thought this was an online exclusive, but I was able to find it in stores. And it's called Clausmopolitan. I don't know if you can see that. I'll angle it up so it can catch the light. And it has that pretty light pink wax on it. And y'all, this smells so good. I even had Josh smell this. He's like, oh wow, that really does smell good. Yeah, that's a good one. So this has, oh, you know what? So I can't, the notes they have on it, this aren't really notes. It says, fragrance notes, up on the rooftop bar, Santa's talking to a little detour. I'm sorry, Santa's taking a little detour to meet Mrs. Claus for drinks. That's not scent notes, but I will tell you what this smells like. This smells like um, Starburst and a lady on, uh, another lady on YouTube has said, it smells like the red and yellow Starburst. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, that's a good one. Like, I think honestly, I'll probably save this. I won't burn this during Christmas. I will save this for um, spring, like as a spring candle, because it smells so sweet. Um, such a 
such a good candle. Like this was a win for sure. So I did get two of these and everything else except, oh, one more candle I did get two of, but I think it's coming up next because I ordered it online. This one I'm, I'll be definitely keeping because I love these and that's laundry day. I've had this before on the channel and I like the packaging on this. It's really pretty in blue. It looks like a gradient from like a dark blue to a lighter blue at the top. The wax is light. So that is actually the packaging that looks like that, that gradient um, scheme on there. So of course, laundry day is that fresh smell. It smells like freshly um, done laundry, like a Tide or something like that. And it says fresh air, crisp eucalyptus, soft lavender. There are there scent notes on that one? So very pretty. And like I said, I do have another one of these coming. Um, I will be keeping that. Uh, lab laundry day because I thought it was an online exclusive again and then I get to the store and they really only had like two or three left so I was like let me pick up an extra one because those those we can never go wrong with those here in the house so I don't remember getting this but maybe I did oh no I know why I had to grab this out of my stash to make my pyramid even even when I did for a thumbnail so <laughs> This is perfect Christmas. And I probably shared this in a previous um, a previous haul, but I'll just go over the scent notes real quick. It's fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallow. Yeah, it smells really good. So this is one I'll, I'll, I'll be burning during or just before Christmas because I after that, I won't wanna burn perfect Christmas um, after the holidays over so i am just going to pile the ones that i've already been through back in the crate and then we'll get into i have one more crate to share with you so i think i've got a total of 13 candles today and then i ordered those six but like i said i think well now now that we're six i know one's laundry day I'll, i'm keeping that and that lavender marshmallow, who knows? Let me not even chance this. <laughs> Try to move it like that. It'll slap right over, right off. So, um, I don't know if I'm keeping that uh, lavender vanilla. We'll have to wait and see what that one smells like. So, definitely um, four of the six might be going back now. So, but anyway, let's go and get into our last six candles. Um, the next one is Balsam and Bergamot. And there's that, it has like a sage colored um, label on it. And this muted, um, I don't know, like muted white, almost like a muted or grayish ivory container. Um, very matte looking. I th yeah, this is a white barn. So you can see that right there. And the notes on this is balsam branches, crisp air, and zesty bergamot. You know, this one smells good. When I had my kids smell this one, um, I want to say that Gabby liked this one better than Michaela, and Michaela liked another one better than this one. So, now look, it's very fresh. It's going to have to go in the bedroom or the bathroom because it's late. Um, this is not going to fill a room. The th I already, I can already tell you, the throat on this is not going to be much at all. It's not going to be strong. It's not gonna throw like a eucalyptus mint um, or a laundry day or any of the stronger scents is very light, but like I said, it'll be good enough for the bedroom. So next one I picked up is the Spice Cardamom and that's that one right there. And I don't know whose line this is from. It says Chiaki Nomura. I don't know who that is or if I'm saying their name right. I don't know if that's focusing in, but anywho, that's that candle. And um, the scent notes is spice, I'm sorry, cinnamon, spice, cardamom, dark cedar wood, and a pinch of nutmeg. And this is, this is right up my alley. I love spicy scents, um, like anything with a lot of cinnamon in it or nutmeg. Um, yeah, just, yeah, I, I love it. It reminds me of a lighter version of Cozy Sunday Night, maybe. But this is good. Um, this is uh, very, very, I think this is gonna have a pretty decent throw on it. So this might be able to be, oh, I know what this smells like. This smells like big red gum. That's exactly what this smells like. Yeah, so this is heavy on the cinnamon. Very, very strong cinnamon. Cinnamon spice cardamom. 
Um, I don't know if I've ever had like cardamom before, but this smells so good. It smells like Big Rig. Now, like, like now thinking about it, I feel like I should have got two of these. <laughs> <laughs> like I should have got two of those and then maybe not got not maybe I shouldn't have gotten the balsam and bergamot but it is what it is now I'm not gonna keep running back out to the mall to exchange stuff so this one I did not see online um and I only saw it in the mall they didn't have they only had maybe like two or three left um and I want to say this is maybe like what is it from their late spring line or early summer line 2024 and it's called Capri Waves. Very pretty packaging, very minimal list um, package. Packaging has the white with the dark blue and that pretty, um, I guess, teal light blue, maybe turquoise light blue on the packaging. And the notes on this one is sea salt, rich driftwood, and ocean air. And this one smells really good. It reminds me of maybe like um i don't know i don't know what it reminds me of but this smells really good it smells like soap it does it smells like beachy soap you can definitely smell a lot of that um sea salt oh man i probably should have got two of these <laughs> say that about a lot of these candles like why don't you get two of this and two of that that one's a good one and it's a white barn candle um but that is so pretty so this is not going to be burned till sometime next year lord willing um that one will get burned then so that was capri waves okay we have three more guys this one i've had before um i want to say at least in a single wick and um, this is an oldie but goodie, and it's the Eucalyptus Spearmint. It's the stress relief from the aromatherapy line. And I like this one for when like people don't feel good. I like having this around. Um, I feel like it just opens up the nasal passages because I have this in the um, shower steamers, and I think I also have it in the room spray. Um, I'm gonna say I have it also in the lotion. But it just smells really good. The notes on this one is, uh, I keep saying it about everything, but um, I'm so very picky about my scents and I just, I want them to be strong. If I wanna feel like I'm getting like my money's worth. When they're really light and I can't smell them, just like I'm, I could, could have gotten this candle from Dollar Tree. So the notes on this uh, eucalyptus spearmint is eucalyptus spearmint, and that's what the notes are. I think it also says it has clary, that clary sage in it. And uh, yeah, so that's the notes on that one. White wax on this and that usual um, olive green like uh, label right there. So really good smell. I, I like when I, I have to feel like burning this one or like I said, when people aren't feeling good, like I can put them in a room and um, burn that a little bit and just kind of get it smelling good kind of open up in your nasal patches passages so that's what I like that one for all right couple more here guys I have turquoise waters there's that so pretty looks like you know little steel waves right there on that packaging so that turquoise blue um, theme on that and this is coastal waves sparkling bergamot and sun drenched musk Gabby really likes this one so I was thinking about her when I purchased it yeah, that one's just, it's just a, it's a good, but this has been around for a while. So this is not, this is not, not this is nothing new. The only one that was really new to me was, um, of course, the Capri Waves and that Cosmopolitan. Um, I guess this Bergamot and Balsam was pretty new, but other than that, that was it. Uh, and then the last candle was just that, that Cosmopolitan again. Such a, such a good smelling candle. It smells like candy. It smells like a bunch of Starburst just got melted down and just put into this pot. It smells so good. So, um, yeah, I'm really um, satisfied with what I was able to pick up. Um, this is not the biggest haul that I've ever, candle haul I've ever done. Um, the coupons just weren't there. Like if I, if I would've gotten a 20% 20, 20 off coupon, I probably would've gotten at least six more candles. Um, these candles last a good bit of time, um, but, I love to burn my candles and uh josh already knows like when kim bay comes around he's just like do your thing girl <laughs> so but that was my haul for that i did pick up another item um i had a free body care item that was it could be worth six 
$17.95 um, or less. And I used that for something for Michaela for Christmas. So I, and I really want that to be a surprise for her. So I'm not going to put that on camera because I think she actually watches my videos. Um, Gabby, not so much. <laughs> So, but that is my Candle Day haul, Candle Day 2023. Um, thank you so much for stopping by and taking a look what I got. Leave a comment below of maybe a few of the candle, candles that you picked up this weekend. Um, are you gonna go out for day number three tomorrow? I probably will not. Um, plus, Michaela has a, a cheer banquet tomorrow at four o'clock, so we will not be doing much of anything else but going to that, so. But guys, if my voice sounds really weird, I'm trying to stay um, kind of quiet because everybody's probably asleep about now. And um, I think I'm starting to get tired. So I'm gonna go finish up some laundry and then I'm going to wash this face and probably go to bed and get ready for tomorrow. So I'll have this uploaded by, um, by the end of candle day number three. And um, I will upload the next video uh, of another Bath & Body Works haul. I'll be up uploading that soon. So. All right, guys, take care. Thank you so much for stopping by again. Um, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And God bless you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.